In this video we look at how we analyse logic circuits and I have a logic circuit here built out of an OR gate, another OR gate, a NOT gate and an AND gate. And I don't know what the purpose of this circuit is but the question is what is the value of Q for each combination of A, B and C. So I've got Q written in the last column of my truth table. What I need to do is I need to identify the inputs as A, B and C and I need to write those in the first columns in my truth table. Now I'm going to write down all the possible combinations of A, B and C and it's important to do them in the, the right order. So we start off with 0, 0, 0. It makes it easier for other people to read if we all agree on the same order. 0, 0, 1, binary 1, 0, 1, 0, binary 2, 0, 1, 1, binary 3, 1, 0, 0, binary 4, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, finally 1, 1, 1, binary 7. So the question is, how do we work out what Q is from there? Well, the secret is to put in some intermediate columns. So I'm going to label this point here X, and I'm going to use this column here X. This grey column is not an input or an output, it's just part of the circuit, halfway between two logic gates. So let's work out what X is. Well, X is the OR gate function of A and B. So first of all, you should never be afraid of writing down the truth tables if you're not sure about them. And you should be able to do this very quickly, a shorthand, so no real format in the table. And we should know that an OR gate is 0, 1, 1, 1. So that allows us to have a quick reference check. So we're doing an OR gate of A and B. So A and B are 0 and 0, so I get 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1, as per this truth table here. Okay, so that's the first intermediate column done. So now I'm going to add another intermediate column, x, I'm going to call this point here the letter y, it's the output from the NOT gate, so this is y. So y is the NOT gate function of only input b. So it's just b which has come along through the NOT gate. So all I need to do is write down what a NOT gate does. 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, that's what a NOT gate does. So what we'll do is we'll take column b and we'll write it out. So b is 0, so y is 1. b is 0, y is 1. 1 becomes 0, 0. 0, 0 becomes 1, 1. 1, 1 becomes 0, 0. So that's good. And now we'll take this point here, the output from the OR gate, as intermediate column Z. So we'll write that in our truth table. Now Z is an OR gate function of C and Y. So Z is an OR gate function of C and Y. So we've got to take column C and column Y and combine them as an OR gate function. So let's have a go at that. So 0 or 1 gives us 1. 1 or 1 gives us 1. 0 or 0 gives us 0. 1 or 0 gives us 1. 0 or 1 gives us 1. 1 or 1 gives us 1. 0 or 0 gives us 0. 1 or 0 gives us 1. So that is the OR gate function of column C and column Y. Now finally, our output Q, this output here, is the AND function of X and Z. It's the AND function of X and Z. So I have to take X and Z and combine them in an AND function. Now we haven't got the AND function yet, so let's write it out. So A, B, Q. So we go 0, 0 gives me 0, 0, 1 gives me 0, 1, 0 gives me 0, 1, 1 gives me 1. So that's the AND gate. So V should be bread and butter for us. We should know these each time. So now we're going to take the final column. So 0 and 1 gives me 0, 0 and 1 gives me 0, 1 and 0 gives me 0, 1 and 1 gives me, oops, that should be a 0, 1. 
one and one gives me one, one and one gives me one, one and zero gives me zero, one and one gives me one. So now we have the output Q as a function of each of the inputs or each combination of the inputs A, B and C and that's how you do it using intermediate columns and writing out your little truth tables so you know what you're doing.